This was the first Digi controller I ever got, and I got this when I was in high school. My mom got it for me for $150, and I played and scratched with it every single day. And for a couple of years, yes, years, this is what I used to grow my skills and make money. I probably wouldn't be a professional DJ now if I didn't get this beginner DJ controller. I would probably be a lawyer or a doctor or just something my Asian parents would approve of. But anyway, disappointing parents is not the point of this video. What is, is DJ gear and the idea that what you have is not enough. The best budget DJ controllers for me right now are the following. The DDJ400 for Rekordbox DJ, the DDJ SP3 for Serato, and the Controllers 2 Mark III for Tractor. And all these controllers are all under $300, and each of them gives you the ability to mix, scratch, use effects, and basically everything you may ever want and need from a DJ controller. But what makes them mostly different from their big brother counterparts like the DDJ-1000, DDJ-SX3, and Controllers 4 Mark III, besides their build quality and price, are additional features like 4 channel faders, better audio output options, and the ability to use gimmicky modes like keyboard mode, pitch play mode, and haptic drive mode. And all of those features come at a hefty price. You see, most of these controllers cost around $1,000. But the question in your mind is, are they worth the upgrade? And in my honest opinion, no, they aren't. These DJ companies are just trying to rip you off. You have to understand that DJ controllers all really do the same thing. They play music and they give you the ability to activate effects, scratch, and most importantly, mix. Okay, think of it this way, just humor me here. Let's compare expensive DJ gear to expensive camera gear. When you buy the latest lens and camera, you're paying for the quality of glass and image you're getting. Your images will be objectively sharper and more crisp compared to a camera from 5 years ago. But when you DJ on the latest piece of DJ equipment, your mixes will sound exactly the same and how your music will affect the dance floor will be the same as well compared to using cheaper and more affordable controllers. And to be quite frank, nothing improves besides your audio out options and output in addition to mix with more options and modes. You see, as a DJ, your output cannot be quantified by what you use. Nobody on the dance floor will care on what equipment you're rocking. They'll just care if you're giving them an amazing time with good song selection and expensive DJ gear can never improve your ability to read a crowd. But let's talk about the positive differences between pro and beginner DJ equipment. Pro equipment will perhaps make you DJ more comfortably. The faders will be better, the joggles will be smoother, and the buttons will be squishier. These factors may actually lead you to be more clean and precise when you mix. Perhaps you'll even enjoy the layout and feel so much you begin to perform better as well. And that may be a factor on why you may want to upgrade. But for a cheap ass DJ like me, I would rather master my beginner DJ controller and do its less than pro build quality and just use it to its fullest potential because I can DJ the exact same way on both units. The only difference will be is how I feel with using the equipment and feel is something that anyone can get used to. To be honest with you, you're better off spending that extra money on learning new skills through DJ courses like mine. Anyway. Beginner DJ equipment has improved so much through the years, and these DJ companies are just trying to find ways to brainwash you to upgrade. They want you to think that having the latest and greatest DJ gear will make you the best DJ in the world, or at least give you the features and ability to. But the truth is, they won't. Nothing can ever replace hard work, practice, and the special skill that makes DJing so fun and unique. And that is your ability to select the right songs at the right time. So ask yourself before upgrading, do you really need all those new and gimmicky features to be a better DJ or does your equipment right now already have all the features you need to be a better DJ? Yeah. Hey, you've reached the end of the video and the question of the day is, what DJ equipment do you own and why did you buy it? Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you all in the next one.